Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> what is up, bitches? Welcome to another episode of Lefty Live. This is Cinco de Mayo, right? I think I got that right. I think it's the 5th of May. I got my Spindrift half tea, half lemon. It's got a little caffeine in it. Really, really good. No sugar, though. I wouldn't mind a hint. Not usually a lemon in my tea guy, but, you know, it's okay. I'll take it. Um, so, yeah. So, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do the live stream uh, because of the kiddo. Uh, she's having a little bit of a sleep regression or something. She's like 22 months old. And, uh, I don't know, last three days were rough. Like, Monday and Tuesday, it took like an extra hour to get her down. We didn't really know what was going on. She just kind of wanted to stay up. And then last night was brutal. Like, it was she was up till 11. I had to – we tried for, like, two hours, like, anything we could to help her get down, whatever. And uh, I ended up taking her for a walk for, like, an hour. Yeah, it was, like, 30, 45 minutes. And she finally, like, fell asleep in the stroller. And we kind of just transferred her. And she stayed asleep. And uh, today I pick her up from daycare and I'm like, hey, how is she napping, right? And the teacher proceeds to ask me if she uses a pacifier at home to sleep. And I'm like, yeah, she always has. And she's like, well, we took it away on Monday. <laughs> and I'm like, "You? <laughs> why wouldn't you tell me that, you know? Then I we could have adjusted at home too, but that's clearly like part of this, right? She all of a sudden at school isn't getting or daycare isn't getting the pacifier to take a nap, which is fine. She has to get off of it because in a month she's moving to a different class and then they can't have a, a pacifier when they nap. So it's fine. But like we didn't I didn't know any of that until, you know, two hours ago. I'm just like, you know, last night I was like helpless with this kid. And so it's just a little frustrating. Anyway, uh, tonight she you know, she's still in her room like kind of fake whining and standing but she's not like you know last night she seemed like something was wrong so anyway that's what's going on if my wife comes in here and says that i need to take over or something then that will be happening but uh i wanted to try to get the stream in and she's kind of just chilling so what is up everybody hope everybody's doing well on this thursday cinco to thursday let me back the zoom up. I feel like you guys are way too close to me. Um, what's everybody carrying? I figured I'd do a sort of um, a solo episode. Maybe if somebody wants to come on later, we could do that. But um, I was glad I didn't have a guest because of this whole thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what's everybody rocking today? We might have uh, people come in late or not come in at all because I kind of said I might not do a stream. It might just be a few of us chiseling tonight, which means more people get a chance to win this guy. Um, see who's in the house. Sinister, what's up, dude? I just wanted to say lefty ball sack, ball sack, ball sack. Talica, what's up, dude? Matt Parker, what up, Matt? What's going on, dude? Uh, Luke, what up, bro? The outdoor craftsman. What's up, brother? Will be. What up, man? Did you get your uh, prizes from the last giveaway? Uh, Josh, what up, dude? All the way from down on the country boy. What's up, freak show? Zachariah, what's up, dude? Uh, Jake Valadino, what's going on, brother? Naf's in the house. What up, Naf? Sorry about that package. I sent him a Kvist prototype. And uh, I've sent him many a package and never had a problem. And I just type his name and it populates the address. So I did that and I shipped it like I always do. And he reaches out yesterday. He's like, dude, uh, what address did you send that to? Because it says insufficient address. <laughs> so I go and look and it's like uh, NAF, whatever his address is, Sergeant. <laughs> street like it was all jacked up i don't know why pirate ship populated it all weird this time but um i need to take a better look before i print ship so that's coming back and then i gotta ship it again so my bad naf and my bad jacob because it's gonna hold up the prototype a little bit what up taberski 
Talek, I'm chilling with my sons on the couch. Nice, dude. Nice. I'll try to keep the cursing down. <laughs> as, as Brandon says, dude. <laughs> happy to Mayo. Thanks, dude. What up, BT? Uh, Matt's got the rosy Spider-Co Delica throwback Thursday. Nice, dude. I need to do that more often. I, I, I'm such a snob these days, you know? Like, I try to get into budget stuff. I buy budget stuff to try it. It's just so hard to, like, keep it, you know, and carry it. The 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 last one that really stuck was the Conspirator. I carried that a little bit. And um, the Kubi Royal has stayed in the collection for a while. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Colin designed this. I think if Colin wasn't involved, I don't know. Would I still own this? Ah, I don't know. It is kind of like my... my my go-to budget knife, so maybe, you know, you got to have that budget knife. I don't know. Uh, I carried a Renegade Provisions Co. Wool Hank that came with my gun mirror. I carried my freaking beautiful Kvist Variant Custom Slip from Northwoods Leatherworks. Shout out to Troy. And there's the Custom. Got this thing back the other day. <sighs> Man, just so good. Uh, I think I recorded it. I did a disassembly of it because the lock bar, I don't think I recorded it actually. The lock bar was like 70% and I took it apart and I flipped the pivot around and boom, it's back to like 30. So I think I must have taken it apart before I sent it out and I fucking sent it out with the pivot backwards. Um, so if you handled this, it's even better. <laughs> Gets even better. And that slip, man, it just fits like, pop. So sexy, dude. Um, and I had my CWF light micro Arcadian with the topo pattern. It's a triple lot design exclusive that I'd never heard of them until I bought this. Um, really sick light. I love this light. And I have it programmed now to two modes. It's just 15 and 100. And that's it. No, nothing else. It's so simple. I love that. But you can do whatever you want. Um, Amari Pocket Peak currently doing review on it. Awesome, dude. Love it. Um, I also had on me a bunch of different backups. So, like, right now it's the Rask, but that's just because I grabbed something when I got home and changed. Um, and I'm letting some things lock tight. So, I got in the Pena Bravo, X-Series Bravo today. I'm going to try to let these sit a little longer because I loctited them like half hour ago. Maybe I can get it to cure while we're here. But really, really cool knife. We'll, we'll look at that later. I also got, well, I carried my custom. This is what I carried today to work. This is the Trevor Berger Custom Urban. This is actually number one. And it's freaking sick. And then, random. it wasn't random, but I didn't think it would get here today. The Urban EDC Supply, I think it's called the Urban EDC Supply LC, I think. Burger LC, I don't know. We'll look at it later. Uh, very, very good uh, rendition of the Urban. It's basically what I'm calling 90% custom. Like, you know, it's like 90% to that exact spec. Like, it's impressive how close they got. Um and then I ordered one of these right after I unboxed it. I got the full tie. I've been kind of questioning it since I did it because I'm like, I have the custom. I really like the custom. I don't think I'd give up the custom because it has the hand satin and the hollow grind uh, and the D10 I like. But I don't know. I still bought one, just like Impulse bought it. So I was carrying all these earlier too. Let's see what else you guys had. Oh, we got a uh, super chat here, of course, from Joe. What up, Joe? Thanks, dude. What's shaking, brother? Watching from work again. That sucks, man. You're always at work. At least when I'm on streams. Uh, let me go back up. Sorry. Snafu. Nice, bro. Carrying my Norseman for the first time. Just got it yesterday. Cool, Brandon. How do you like it, man? Are you a hippopotamus fan or... Are you more of a horse dick guy or do you just love it? Like I wish if it had a, just a traditional Tanto, I'd be all over it. I really like the knife. I like the build. It's just that blade just, man, I don't, it's just ugly to me. It doesn't look like what people say to me. I just think it's ugly. 
Uh, BGM fixed blade hollow ground in nitro V. Nice. Uh, that was Talica QC Eddie in the office carry. Nice, Josh. Cool, man. TJ King. Sup, Kevin, everyone. What's up, dude? Uh, who is Seraphin's got a Les George VC? I think it's a VECP, right? Um, flipper. I could be wrong. I swear it's VECP, not VCEP. I don't know. Anyway, I want to check one of those out sometime. I've been hearing good things. Is it like you know me pretty well? Is it a knife that like is cool, but like I would probably not like? Because that's how I feel about it, you know? Um, I got the wallet. It's great. Oh, yeah. Sick, dude. Yeah, Northwoods kills it, man. Uh, Blades hooked Daniel. What's up, dude? What's going on, brother? Hi, right, Miggy. What's going on? How you doing? Channel member up in here, I think. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Brandon Butler. He's got the sharpshooter and a Civivi Elementum. Nice, dude. You can't go wrong with the sharpshooter. I would show you... The new one, the laid back jack, like what I like to call the pickle jack, um, because it's green on the fat carbon. And I got the green canvas, my car is so pickle jack, but uh, I got it packaged up. It's going off to uh, backpack B tomorrow, so I cannot show you, but I have a video coming out on it. Uh, Leon Ma Field Duty EDC, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Magna Cut Deca, and a sharpshooter. Damn, hook. Believe it or not, I just sold my last Leong Ma. I sold that lefty cuff version two that I had modded. Um, it's like blasphemy to me. But the guy offered me five fifty, and I I wasn't carrying it. Like all I've carried lately in the front left pocket are slips, um, the clip slips, my custom. Uh, tough knife that i don't know where it is i sent it off to him he fixed something the, the blade was hitting the backspacer so he fixed that i think he cut a notch into the backspacer um he said he was shipping it monday i haven't heard a thing from the guy and i haven't gotten it so concerning 1300 knife just floating around um but i carry that and then you know when a stout is in like right now i have the the marbled cf stout in the detent on this one feels a little lighter than the other ones. So I've kind of addressed that. But I think it felt fine until I took it apart. I took it apart the other day, and I I don't know what it is. I cannot get it, like, perfectly centered. I think it's close now, but, like, it's still not perfect. There's no play or anything. I tried putting the stock bearings back in. I don't know. I need to take some time with it or something. But it's been around the block, but that shouldn't matter. I don't know. But anyway. So, you know, I'm always carrying a stout or whatever. Front left. So, I just, I sold that. I don't know. I feel bad about it. Obviously, I keep talking about it. Uh, what up, Richie and Landy? Landy and Richie? I'm, like, trying to hear out for my kid. I can hear her crying a little bit. We are trying to just let her hang in the crib. Settle down. Go to sleep because, like, last night we were letting her out, letting her down, watching TV. Like, just the, I don't think that's a good idea. And she's like fake crying, she's not real crying. You know, you know, when your kid's really crying. Um, I love that urban, yeah. Urban's sick. I love the custom, you know. That's the thing. Like, this custom's so good. Like, do I really need a production one? My thinking was for people who don't have one right because they're hard to get there's only like 50 of these or something and they're expensive um for people who don't have one i think it's excellent you know i think getting 90 percent of this for 289 dollars right now on pre-order like you can't go wrong with that but like i have one of these so like i didn't really need the production one but hey it's really good so it doesn't matter i wonder if i still have I should put the link in the description, but I don't know where it is now. Check. There we go. Can I copy the link? Copy link. Hey, let me see. There we go. I put the link to the urban pre-order in the chat. 
Um, except the re reverse flick can't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I handed Matt this custom urban at lunch, and he could not reverse flick it. I can even do it left-handed. That's another thing about the production one. You can't. It's harder to do left-handed because the lock bar is wider. You just dig your finger in, man. You gotta like really. It's it's different than flicking a hole. So she said, um, like it's different than putting your finger because you just put it in the hole and kind of fire up, right? On this, you gotta kind of dig into the side. And you gotta like push. You're almost trying to push the blade, you know, this way. Like you're trying to push the blade that way against the other scale. And then you flick, you kind of push in and out at the same time. And then you can flick it. It's, it is a little bit of a, you got to learn it. You got to master it. You know what I'm saying? It's witchcraft. What up, David? Lefty driving home from a meeting after meeting up with JP. Cool, man. So I will be listening two and a half hours of driving. Damn, dude. Well, hope you had a good visit, man. Seven Ready, what up, dude? Get all the YouTubers in the house. What's going on over in, uh, shit, where are you? You're in Sweet uh, Austria? Fuck, oh, sorry. I think I got that right. It's Austria, right? Uh, waiting for the Asher to drop. Yeah, baby. The Ashers are sick. Bell's Blades. What up, dude? He's driving as well. Red Beard. What's up, dude? Redbeard's like my twin on buying stuff. We're always messaging each other like we just bought this and then the other one gets one and then we each get two. And it's like fucking weird. I love it. Oh, yeah. He just got a Norseman, too. He says grown on me. Actually worked really great for opening boxes. Yeah, the, the secondary tip is excellent. It just looks absolutely just terrible. Ed Hardy. Hello from Alberta. Bought a Gerber pocket square. Cool. What is a Gerber pocket square? They're like a little multi-tool. Aberdeen Blades. What's up, Aberdeen? Ed Durbin. Evening all. Carried an EMP EDC Nimble today. Check this out. I pimped this one out a little bit. I took the Moku Tie clip off of my Dark Tie bronzy one that I have black hardware on. Put the black clip on this. I think that looks good, right? And then I put it on here. I think this looks good, too. I think they both look good with the Moku tie. So I just switched it up a little bit. I might have to get another one. Uh, I did, actually, a little bit of news on the Stout. I emailed QSP today. We're adding an order of 100 Moku tie backspacers. So if anybody wants to get a Moku tie backspacer for the Stout, we'll have some available. Obviously, we're not going to have as many as the knives. We only ordered 100. Um but we should be able to sell them for like 30 bucks tops, probably 25, 30. I think that's pretty good for a Mokutai backspacer. I mean, if you want one, obviously. Steven Wallace, I'm carrying my new Kubi. Thank you. That thing skates through paper, but I don't have to tell you that. And I don't know what Red was talking about. It hardly has any rust on it. <laughs> that's funny. Are you talking about the... What... What Kubi? You talking about the hide? You won the hide, right? Last week or something? Sorry. I know. I can't remember anything. Z Man! What up, dude? Ev, what's going on? Ev has a stout right now. He's got the blacked out stout. Today, a left handed hinderer. Greetings from the Netherlands. What's up, Pierre? Awesome. Or Pear? Sorry, I don't know how you pronounce it. Why am I wearing these? I always forget. Hold on. She's still crying. We're trying. We're trying to wait it out. It's getting intense. Um, sorry. Yeah, I realize I don't need the um, the headphones. Let me just check. Make sure. Yeah, everything's back to default. Make sure you guys can hear me fine. Should be fine though. Um, yo, little late, but made it. What's up, evolved? I started a little late. Uh, Tim Adams, yo lefty, this is my first live, but I've been watching all your videos, love your channel, thank you dude, appreciate that Tim, much appreciation brother, um, uh, I love this knife community, you guys are the best, yep, knife community is the shit, Philip Jansen, can't wait for the growler, yeah dude, me either man, I'm waiting for the damn prototypes to get here, 
We're getting prototypes from two companies, uh, Kubi and Shielden, so it should be interesting. Should I buy the burger? How big is it? All right, so let's talk about the burger. I do have a couple things to unbox. One of them is another prototype. Um, I'm in prototype heaven lately. So here it is. It is not big, Richie. It's a three-inch blade. Um, so there it is. This one with the micarta, green micarta, black micarta inlay, and titanium lock side. This one comes with a stonewashed blade. The um, the other one, the dark, it's like dark tie with a black micarta inlay. That one comes with an acid wash blade. And then there's a full tie with a satin blade. I can't tell. What's up? <laughs> okay, I'll be right down. Oh, she's crying. All right, guys. I'm going to go. I got to go. I'm sorry. Uh, I might jump back on if I can later, but um, who knows? So, sorry, guys. Peace.